All right, hey, crafty friends. We are back for day 11. We are going to skip day 10 for a minute. Um, not long, but just for a minute. I'm actually going to print out a picture from day 11 and use it for day 10, um, mainly because I am going to use this foundation page that I already have um, done that will be in one of my foundation um, videos. I'll put the link up here if I can remember. But anyways, um, I'm going to use this for um, day 10 and it's going to be 10 October, October stories, um, good or bad. Cause I do like to put the bad in here. Um, and we had a few things on day 10, but I can use them for other days. Cause I don't mind. I, I want to get the stories and the events kind of in here more or less on the days of it. So I have on day 12, not much to talk about. So we're going to move the thing that we did on day 10 to day 12. So but we are going to work on day 11 and we went to, uh, um, the cider mill this day. So I took a large scape of where we went to get our pumpkins. I believe that's my husband and my son, like right there. I'm not quite sure. I believe it is. Um, I did have one with my son in the middle of it, but I really just wanted to like a whole landscape, um, with all the pumpkins in the background. And then I have, printed actually all my pictures in four by six, which I don't usually do. I usually do them in three by fours, but because I kept, which hopefully I don't make too much of a mess. I kept the glycine bag, which we kind of all use from the pumpkin patch. Um, and what our donuts came in, I'm going to wipe it out real good. Um, and probably chop it down because it looks like it's about six inches big, a little bit more than six inches big. And I'm actually going to use this bag to hold all my four by six pictures in between this picture. So this picture will kind of be in and probably some journaling from the day. Um, and that's how I'm going to kind of do that so that I can kind of put some ephemera in here and, um, yeah, use this. So, I am going to put you guys on fast forward, kind of get everything cut down. I don't know how much I'm really going to embellish this. Um, I, I might put like, you know, a couple of things. I don't really know, but I really just want this to be, you know, front and center, nothing too big. And then let the pictures in the middle kind of, I mean, we can, we do the pumpkin patch every single year, the same pumpkin patch every single year. Um, and I'm already going to do a spread. I don't think I'm going to do it in my October daily. I think I'm going to do it in a family album or something along that lines, but I literally have a picture of my kids every single year at the same sign. Um, and as you can see, my oldest is now over six foot and I have them, you know, I probably have him from five, four feet on or four years old on at the same sign. So I want to do like a flip out. Um, actually I can show you the pictures cause I started printing them all off. So, um, like he's, two probably. Yeah. So I'm missing the one where he was one. I got to go look for that, which I found it the other day, but like here he is at two. Um, I do have one at three because this looks like he's probably four. Um, definitely like five or six and seven. Um, most, yeah, I think he was seven. And then we even have the one from last year. Um, so I have them all. So I want to do like a little flip out of those. Um, cause I just think it's cool to watch the kids kind of grow through all of that. So, all right, I'm going to get you put on fast forward. All right guys. So the first thing I need to figure out is how I'm going to cut this bag down. So that front piece that you see there, um, I believe that they use these bags every single year. They're pretty familiar to me. So I believe that this is kind of like their branding. I don't know, maybe every cider mill uses these bags, but, um, the biggest, um, thing for me when I go to cider mills is the fresh donuts and the warm donuts. So that's what I definitely wanted to keep it for. Um, you can see I'm cleaning all that cinnamon sugar out. So I take this wipe for a pretty long time and clean out the entire thing, make sure that there's nothing left in there let it even dry for a little bit. I'm going to skip past this part, but what I end up doing is cutting the bottom part of that off. And I believe a lot of the top of it off. 
And then I cut down the middle of the seam. Yep, you're going to see me right there. Cut down the middle on both sides. And um, then I take off the, side, the other side of the back because I don't need my envelope per se to open up that large um, and then I just push that right back on there so the glycine bags are quite slippery and um, definitely needed some red line tape so definitely think about that and making sure that your adhesive is sticking all that good stuff so I just wanted to put that half circle in there so that you could see the pictures once they go in there and then we're going to punch some holes into our bag um, so they line up and this pocket was pretty perfect for four by all these four by six photos. I actually ended up adding quite a few more, um, not you're going to see at the end of this video, I end up putting a um, ribbon on everything, but not on all of them. I also end up, um, putting some journaling. I did end up going back and putting a little bit of journaling on the back of one of these tags, just so that I have a little bit, um, and I, I don't even think, uh, I just think I told the story of like how we now go on like the weekdays because this cider mill is so darn busy on the weekends. It's kind of crazy. So, all right. So for this photo, I knew I wanted to do this. So this is why I, I made sure to get a decent photo of the pumpkin patch. Um, they literally just take you out to a field and dump you. <laughs> um, the only thing I wish I might have changed is that when you open the album that the glycine bag isn't in the middle. I don't know. Um, I want to see the whole thing. So that might get changed eventually. I doubt it. I'm probably just going to leave it. Because um, I just didn't want to embellish this as much. I wanted it to be a wide open picture. So you can see me. I'm trying to get that those holes punched where um, the bag was punched. Up to this point, you guys, I have not used one foundation page that I made in the beginning. So I was so excited to make all these foundation pages and get like 10 of them done. And I have not used one. So the, I think I have through day 12 done at this point. And we are using a foundation page for day 13. Um, I think that's going to be what our favorite candy is. And so that shaker pocket one is going to get used. So. All right, so I was struggling and I could not figure out what I wanted to do on these pages as far as embellishing. So I actually left it for a day and um, actually two days it looks like and came back to it, decided to put that Magic of Fall color cast designs um, acrylic piece on one side. And then I actually went through my October subscription for L Studios and found this L, um, autumn card and knew this is what I needed to use. So I loved it. It took up some room on the back of that. And then we just put some leaves around it and, you know, made our own embellishment pretty much. So using that double sided tape and then, like I said, just placing these around it to just embellish it a little bit because I just didn't have anything to honestly put on the back of that glycine page. I could have maybe put a picture on the back of it, but Eh. So, um, and the apple orchard is probably one of my most favorite things about autumn. So we just checked off all of our favorite things. There are things on there like bonfires. We don't do those in the fall, really. <laughs> we do that more in the summer here. So I know a lot of people do, but all right. So there is that page and it is about to be done. It just, I'm um, going to embellish the pictures in that glycine bag, um, with just a few, oh, we are going to pick our numbers out of my gorgeous number organization little bin there. I'm loving that. Um, I'm actually going through that or trying to find some thickers that might work. I do believe I just went with the L studio or no, the, yeah, L studio acetate number, I believe. Um, just down there in the corner. Again, I couldn't find embellishments. I don't know. Sometimes I feel like I can embellish anything and some days I feel like I can't embellish anything. So I was just picking out some things here from that Tracy Reed October Mood, um, but all of these will get put back. <laughs> there is that number 11. There we go. Um, and I believe that this is an L Studio like clear acetate number. I have tons of these. I buy a pack like all of the time. Um, so now I'm just trying to find a spot for it 
Um, and I am going to go with right there in that corner. Just going to staple it with my tiny attacher and call it good. And there we go. Now we're just going to um, turn these pictures into tags actually and put some ribbon around them, around the holes, punch the holes, put some ribbon in them. Um, I am using these spooky words from L Studios and um, no, spooky words from Studio Calico and some stickers from L Studio. So those ones over there, those chipboard stickers are from L Studios. And this picture of my kids in the pumpkin patch is um, going to say autumn leaves and pumpkins, please. I thought that was fitting. Oh, there we go. We use one piece from Tracy Reed. Then, and of course, all of the adhesive, constantly removing adhesive from things. <laughs> Um, and then this one is my favorite tradition, as you heard me talk about that one earlier. And then this one just says pumpkin patch. Very easy, embellishing. Guys, I am just trying to get this album done. I am trying to catch up. Um, so many things have went wrong during this album and life has gotten in the way. So this is my busy season for my job and I just cannot do it. So all right, so I'm just going to wrap it up from here because there's not much more. You're just going to see me use a tag from day one um, to get those sides. I just didn't have a template and I didn't want to cut them wrong. So just using those. And then, like I said, going to get some uh, a ribbon out to tie some ribbon around those. Um, and get this all wrapped up. So thank you guys so much for always showing up and supporting this channel. It is making me smile every day waking up to new subscribers so if you are new here definitely hit that subscribe button and give me a like on this uh video let me know in the comments below are you up to date are you behind are you ahead on your october daily and all i can think about now is december daily so talk to you guys soon and have a great day <laughs>